if you have love, death has no dominion over you. The actual children of God have neither the beginning of days nor the end of life. For that reason, we have to love all the brethren. Fish is your brother, animal is your brother, ant is your brother, rain, fire, scorching heat of the sun are your brethren, serpents also are your brethren. There is therefore no more segregation or separatedness among these creatures. You must of necessity accept and regard them as your brethren and also love them equally. Death, which is an angel, is your brother. The Hades, an angel also, is your brother. Lucifer, which is an angel, is also your brother. Do you realize that if you have love for everything, these angels will bow down and worship you? Everything no brotherhood except man. You can deceive a human being that you are brotherhood, but you cannot deceive Lucifer, death, and AIDS that you are brotherhood because they really know brotherhood. The sun, the moon, fire, water, dry land, soil, angel, all know brotherhood. Only mankind has not known brotherhood and it is hidden to man. Remember when certain vagabond Jews exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preached. There were seven sons of Sceva, a Jew, the chief and chief of the priests which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? The man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. It is said, learn a parable from the fig tree. You now profess that you are a brotherhood, but if you are found drinking in a bar or hotel and somebody asks you what church you belong to, should you tell them that you are a brotherhood? He will tell you to shut up for you are not a brotherhood because brotherhood does not drink any liquor or wine or strong drink. When you visit the necromancer, you refer to as satanic and luciferous. To consult an oracle, he will inquire to which church denomination you belong. If you answer that you are a brotherhood, he will rebuke you and tell you that you are not a brotherhood because he knows that brotherhood does not consult oracles. And if you were a brotherhood, you would not have gone to his house to consult Oracle. Will you be surprised that he testifies openly that brotherhood has nothing to do with Oracle? Even thieves and robbers know brotherhood. If a thief steals your property and perchance you catch him and report him to the police, and hand him over to the police, supposing you tell the police that you are a brotherhood. They will not believe you because the police know that if you were a brotherhood, you would not have taken the thief to, to them. The statement by the police is true because brotherhood does not lodge any report to the police, does not sue any person to court, does not use does not use the police or soldiers to effect the arrest of any culprit in brotherhood there is 
every truth in the slogan as the father likes it. In the same token, if as a landlord somebody is owing you house rent for several months and you sue him before the rent tribunal or report him or report the case to the police and while there you tell the police or the chairman of the tribunal that you are a brotherhood none of them will believe you because they are perfectly aware that brotherhood does not sue any person no matter the offense committed against them every time you contemplate and deliberate upon the use of identity of identity card in brotherhood but do you not realize that all of you have identity of identity cards which in, which are inside your heart you go about collecting various sums of money from people under the name of business you steal and collect money either in an extortionate way or under false pretenses but profess that you are a brotherhood what type of brotherhood are you brethren our second lesson will now be read listen attentively and you will realize the identity card it is the godly attributes embedded in your body second lesson hebrews chapter 13 verse 1 let brotherly love continue brethren what is read to you is your identity card what is read to you is that name which is not written with ink the text used in opening the pentecostal assembly today is that second lesson which says let brotherly love continue if you have been forgetful of all the gospels preached to you since your advent into this earthly plane do not be forgetful of the gospel of this night because this gospel has entered into your body it has circulated in your bloodstream it has permeated into the bones the flesh the intestines and has reached the joints and marrow extend brotherly love to criminals also you are a brotherhood and so is a thief a murderer a necromancer a mermaid priest but you should allow that brotherly love to continue what man of you having a hundred sheep if he loses one of them would he not leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after the one which was lost until he finds it so is it with us as our lord jesus christ gave us gave his life for our sake we also ought to give our life for the sake of thieves fornicators drunkards murderers liars deceitful persons crafty persons and blasphemers against the name of god by loving them and tolerating them satan is a child of god with a difference has our lord jesus christ not enjoined us saying love your enemies bless them who curse you do good to them who hate you and pray for them who despitefully use you and persecute you that you may be the children of your father who is in heaven when you erroneously complain that you are the only brotherhood in your family or in your village or in your town are you not a liar have you not heard that when all the children of god went to worship god satan also went as the children of god presented themselves to god satan also presented himself god asked satan whence comest thou then satan answered and said from going to and fro in the earth 
and from walking up and down in it. And God said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one who fears God and eschews evil? Then Satan said, Does Job fear God for naught? Have you not made an hedge about him and above his house and about all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hand and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth your hand now and touch all he has, whether he will not curse you to your face. Satan is the flesh. From this story, you can realize that Satan is disobedient and recalcitrant. A drunkard, a fornicator, he brings about sin, falsehood, theft, fornication, division, and exasperation. There is no specific phenomenon called Satan, snake, or animal but implies that those ways of life or behavior which do not emanate from God but from the flesh. These are vices, sins, and crimes. That is why it is not referred to as the spirit. There is only one spirit and God is invariably the spirit. It is called the flesh serpent is lust of the flesh. Do not make the mistake when you are told that it was the serpent who deceived Eve. It was not the serpent, it was lustful desire. When you have lust and affection for everything you see, these lust and affection are desire are these lust and affection and desire are what we refer to as Satan. What is described as Satan is this lust or desire. The flesh is also the lust and desire. But as of now, since we are the children of God. We have been enjoined that we should allow our brotherly love to continue at every moment of our lives in the morning, in the evening, in the day, at night, at dawn, and at dusk. Let the gospel of today on brotherly love be registered indelibly in your hearts. Let brotherly love continue. If you do not love your brother you see and walk with, how will you love God whom you have not seen? Whosoever loves God must also love the brother he sees. All the claims made by people that they are Roman Catholics, are Presbyterians, are Lutherans, are Methodists, are Apostolics, are Apostolics, are Rosicutians. But they persist in stealing and swindling, in fornication and adultery, in drinking and snuffing, hating others. It shows that they are deceiving themselves and others. In other instances, you are calling Jesus, Jesus, but you steal. You commit murder and tell lies. Which Jesus are you calling? The second lesson has advised us in unequivocal terms that we should let brotherly love continue. This gospel ushers in this end of year Pentecostal and the text should remain in your mind as watchword throughout this Pentecostal assembly. Be your brother's keeper. Let brotherly love continue inside your family and outside it. Any person you see is a brother, a child of God. You should love him as he is the person you see. If on the course of your journey 
to find you find people involved in a motor accident stop your car go out immediately help to take out the occupants from the accidented car give them first aid whatever assistance you can offer please do and help to convey them to places of treatment while you are traveling by launch somebody complained to you that pickpockets have snatched his money and that he has no money to buy his fare buy a ticket for him and give him money if you find somebody along the street who cries and laments that he has no money to buy food give him money and food do not ask questions do not demand any explanation from him or anything give him money give him food and clothing that is exactly what you are expected to do let that brotherly love continue when you are confronted with such a situation attend to the person promptly it does not require any preparation or dream or vision or reading from the bible the man is directly in front of you just allow that brotherly love to continue and be extended to him as you are now for the Pest as you are now for the Pentecostal assembly if you come across somebody on the way who complains that he wants to go somewhere but he neither has the money for his transport nor does he know the way escort him immediately to his destination and there give him money do not tell him you cannot escort him because you are rushing to, to go to Amber Street to attend service and worship the Father. If you do that, you have failed. The, re the reciprocity of love. What does the work of God consist of? It consists in brotherly love. When you search the scriptures, you will come to the realization of the reciprocity of love, making mutual concessions, the principle to give the principle of give and take. If we maintain this reciprocity, which makes us symbiotically associated, then we have touched the core of the real work of God. It is by such a gesture that you are revealed as a child of God. If we nurture this symbiotic relationship, we will be revealed as the children of God. If you like, experiment on this gospel and show the expression of fervent charity in your family in your office at the market square when you are traveling whether people will not refer to you as a child of god do not put on the white raiment do not hold the bible do not preach or sing or pray do not inscribe the name any name anywhere but if you put on this armor of love People will begin to refer you as the child of God. Additionally, death, AIDS, sickness, poverty, wretchedness, the elements and permanent, and your enemies will submit unto you. Brethren, I do not wish to take you further than this. Our golden text will now be read. Golden text. Romans chapter 8 verse 19 For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Brethren, have you heard what is read unto you? As long as we love in reciprocity, then shall we be revealed as the children of God. Conversely, as long as you are quarrelsome, pugnacious, 
antagonistic. If you bite and devour one another, take heed that you are not consumed. Take heed that you be not consumed one of another and thus reveal yourself as the children of Satan. A tree is known by its fruit. If you prepare the most delicious dishes in the world and keep them for people and also pack money in carton for those who lust after them, for as long as there is quarreling and fighting amongst people in such places, take your exit from there, for God is not for God does not exist there, and the children of God cannot be found there. Conversely, if this place is packed full with rubbish, the premises is filthy and unkept, and fuming with obnoxious stinking odor, but you find people singing and dancing, they show all expression of the attributes of love, honesty, humility, patience, and temperance. People will testify that God is in the place and that the children of God are there. Know this, that the most precious and most coveted position is that of the sonship of God. When the children of God are revealed, God himself is surely manifested also. A local adage has it that when a child dances very flexibly and dexterously, his father's indebtedness will be unearthed. In other words, when a child dances for a prolonged period, the spectators will be told by the father's creditor that as he is dancing, the father was indebted to him for ten naira, which, watch carefully, when you practice the words of God, but you do not do it perfectly, people will accuse you of not being a good man of God. It is said for your sake that people speak evil against God. All the blasphemous utterances against God are due to your inability to love one another. If a man is a thief or a murderer or a fornicator, when he is beset with any difficulty, you visit him, lift him up, give him food, and buy a bicycle for him. He will quickly follow you to the church. He will plead with God that it is not his pleasure to steal and kill and that God should forgive him that he will not steal again. Thereafter, he carries the, he carries the bicycle away. He will definitely regard you as a man of God. When you are when you told when you are told that somebody has committed theft or murder or any other crime or vice, do not judge and condemn him, but rather go near to him and gain his confidence why he committed the particular sin. And if you endeavor to rectify the situation, you will soon discover that he is the child of God. Once you assist him to overcome his difficulties, the rich will be consumed unless they serve God with their money. There is no person who does not love God. The trouble is that those to whom God has bestowed monetary wealth are reluctant in using their money in the service of God. But use the money for their self and grandish for their self aggrandizement as if the money were their bona fide property that is why people argue that god does not exist when you refer 
to James chapter 5 verses 1 to 5 you will find what will happen to the rich men of this world. Their bodies will be consumed with fire because through their ingratitude people blaspheme against the name of God and refuse to go to God and for that reason fire consumes them. Use your substance in the service of God. To be rich and wealthy is not evil. All material things are good, but if you do not use them to assist other brothers less fortunate than yourself, if brotherly love no longer exists, you will notice that you have disgraced God, and for that reason, people blaspheme against the name of God. If Abram had not divided all the spoils of the war into ten places, and give one place to Melchizedek, how would he have received the abundant blessing of God which endures till today? God owns everything. The people of this generation argue that God is not interested in money or wealth, or children, or clothing, or shoes, or and that God wants the heart, but they want these carnal things. You ask God to give you money, or children, or motor car, or house, but you argue that God does not want these things. What do you want to use these things for? When he bestows these things to you, you refuse to use them in his own service. It is for this reason that the work of God has not expanded as it should have. And why people argue that there are no children of God? Do not be deceived. The taste of the pudding is in the eating. After preparing food, unless it is eaten, you will not know whether or not it is delicious. If a man serves God, but he goes naked, has no dwelling place, but when he serves but when he serves Satan, and Satan motivates him by building a story, building for him, buying a car for him, and buying clothes for other things, or other things, who will ever go to God? No person. Every person will go to Satan in order to receive the material things. Who had a good and dutiful son and will not be happy with him? If you have one million naira in your house and somebody gives you even one naira, you will be very happy over the incident. If you have 100 cars and somebody gives you one, you would be happy about it. Why is it that you have bluntly refused to love your brethren? It is not uncommon to find a man owning 100 story building, but some other persons have only one church, but does not have where to lay down his head. He borrows money to build a very small building, but you find one person owning about 100 story buildings. Is that the love of God? Have you not heard that Solomon alone built for God? People greater than Solomon are here. Why can they not erect houses for God? It is out of the full, fullness of the art. The mouth speaks. When you realize that God is when you realize that God is to you how he has come as your father, you will do all you can to glorify him, and because of that people will people will proclaim that God is unheard. Brethren I do not want to go 
with you further than that. This is the time to reveal the sons of God. When a worldly man gives you one naira, within one week you will pay him again of one naira also. But the children of God will give out the one naira without asking for it again that their brother should use it. Do you not see that by such an act the children of God are manifested? It is this love that is employed to destroy the work of darkness Wherever you go, be kind and benevolent. Whoever has no money, you give money. Whoever has no dwelling place, you provide him with accommodation. Such actions reveal the children of God, and men of all walks of life will come, because wherever there is, wherever there is carcass, there will the eagles gather. Be humble, be patient, be loving, be meek and lowly in heart and live peaceably with all men. You are not respected because you are a pastor or a bishop or a pope or a deaconess or a lawyer or a professor. If you are respected, it is for that love. Show the expression of love and you will be manifested as a child of God. Brethren, it is not my intention to be tedious unto you. One stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May the Lord bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.